Once upon a time there was a beautiful princess named Princess Sapphire who lived in a glittering palace. She had lovely long blonde hair that shone like gold and bright blue eyes that sparkled like sapphires. Princess Sapphire loved to explore the palace gardens and forests surrounding the palace. One day while walking through the forest, she stumbled upon a cave. Curious, she decided to explore inside. The cave was dark and spooky but the princess was brave. As she walked deeper into the cave, she noticed a faint glow up ahead. When she finally reached it, she discovered the glow was coming from a large green dragon. The princess was frightened at first but soon realized the dragon was sleeping. She also noticed the dragon had a metal chain around its neck connecting it to the cave wall. Oh you poor thing, whispered the princess. You must be a prisoner here. She felt sad for the dragon and wondered who could have trapped this magical creature. The dragon's eyes suddenly opened. The princess stumbled backwards, afraid the dragon may attack her. But the beast did not look angry, instead it looked sad. Please don't be afraid, said the dragon telepathically. My name is Jade. An evil wizard cursed me, chaining me in this cave. Jade told the princess how the wizard was jealous of the dragon's magical powers. So he trapped Jade in the cave, cursing her to stay there forever. She had been imprisoned for one hundred years alone. Princess Sapphire felt great empathy for Jade the dragon. I will find a way to break this curse and set you free, I promise, said the brave princess. Jade was overcome with joy at the thought of being free after so many years. She used her icy dragon breath to make a gift for the kind princess, a sparkling necklace made of ice crystals. Princess Sapphire thanked the dragon and left the cave, determined to find a way to help her new friend. When she returned to the palace, the princess went straight to the magic library. She spent hours researching curses and magical imprisonment. Finally she discovered an ancient spell that could undo any curse. This must be how I can free Jade, she exclaimed. To perform the spell, she would need three magic ingredients, a mermaid's tear, fairy dust, and an enchanted feather. The next morning Princess Sapphire embarked on a quest to gather the magical items. Her first stop was the Sea Kingdom, where she had to swim to the depths of the ocean to find a mermaid. After explaining her plan to the mermaids, one kind mermaid gave the princess a shimmering tear. Next it was off to the fairy forest, where she searched until spotting fairies dancing in a meadow. The fairies were happy to provide their sparkling dust to the princess. Finally, Princess Sapphire journeyed up the misty mountains where a colony of phoenixes lived. These magical firebirds shed enchanted feathers. The princess hiked through the mountains until she discovered the phoenixes at the peak. In her sweetest voice, she kindly asked if she could have one feather. The phoenixes were happy to oblige. Carefully tucking the precious feather in her cloak, she descended the mountain. Back at the palace, Princess Sapphire prepared the spell. She combined the tear, dust, and feather with ancient words and her own magical essence. A bright glow filled the room and she knew it had worked. The princess rushed back to the cave to free Jade. When she arrived at the cave, she recited the spell. The chain around the dragon's neck unclipped and fell to the floor. Jade could finally spread her majestic wings and fly free for the first time in a century. Princess Sapphire had freed the cursed dragon from the evil wizard spell. Jade was so thankful to the brave and kind princess. She used her icy breath to put on a beautiful magical performance, making it snow and rain ice crystals in the sky. From that day on, Jade protected the princess and the kingdom, keeping them safe from harm with her powerful magic. And Princess Sapphire visited her dragon friend each day, going on flights around the kingdom together. They both discovered the true magic of friendship and courage.